I'm not wrong. You're wrong. I'm not. He wants her to leave. That's why he puts her on the plane. I don't think she wants to stay. Of course she wants to stay. Wouldn't you rather be with Humphrey Bogart than the other guy? I don't want to spend the rest of my life in Casablanca married to a man who runs a bar. It probably sounds very snobbish to you, but I don't. You'd rather be in a passionless marriage than spend the rest of your life with a man you just have the greatest sex of your life with. All because he owns a bar and that's all he does. Yes. And so would any woman in her right mind. Women are very practical, <laughs> even Ingrid Bergman, which is why she gets on the plane at the end of the film. I understand. What? What? Huh? What? Obviously, you haven't had great sex yet. Yes, I have. Oh, you have. It just so happens that I have plenty of good sex. Mm -hmm. With who? What? With who have you had this good sex? I'm not going to tell you that. Fine. Come down. Uh, Leslie Gordon. Leslie. No, you didn't. I did too. There's someone who does your income taxes. Right, if, if you need a root canal, Leslie is your man. Right? The humping and the pumping, that's not Leslie's strong suit. Keep Do it to me. Leslie. <laughs> Leslie. Right, me, baby, Leslie. <laughs> so, uh, how come she broke up with Leslie? How do you know we broke up? Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here with me. First of all, I'm not with you. Yeah. And second of all, it's none of your business why we broke up. Yeah. I don't even want you. If you must know, it was because he was very jealous and I had these yeah. days of the week underwear. I'm sorry. Days of the week underwear? <laughs> yes. They had the days of the week on them, and I thought they were sort of funny. And then one day, Leslie says to me, you never wear Sunday. It's all suspicious. Where was Sunday? Where was Sunday? And I told him, and he didn't believe me. Why? They don't make Sunday. Yeah. Because of God. What? Do I have something on my face? No. You're a very attractive person. Thank you. Jenny never said how attractive you are. Well, maybe she doesn't think I'm attractive. Well, I don't think it's a matter of opinion. Empirically, you are attractive. Jenny is my friend. Sorry. You're coming on to me. No, I wasn't. Can't a man say a woman is attractive without it being a con? All right. All right. Let's say for the sake of argument, it was a con. What do you want to do? We're just going to be friends, okay? Great. Thank you. Except you do realize, of course, that we can't be just friends. Why not? Well, what I'm saying. And this is not common in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Is that men and women can't be just friends. Because the sex part always gets in the way. That's not true. I have a number of men friends, and there's no sex involved. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You only think you do. You're saying I'm having sex with these men without my knowledge? No, I'm saying that these men don't want to have sex with you. They do not. They do too. How do you know? Because no man can be just friends with a woman who finds attractive. Who always want to have sex with her. So, you're saying a man can be friends with a woman he finds unattractive? No. You want to fuck them too. <laughs> well, what if they don't want to have sex with you? Because the sex thing is already out there, therefore the friendship is ultimately doomed, and that is the end of the story. Well, I guess we're not going to be friends then. It's not. It's too bad. You were the only person I knew in London.